Well, good evening to all. I'm Evan Watson. Welcome to the story tonight. For well over a year now, I've been reporting on the ambulance crisis in Multnomah County. The county and ambulance provider AMR are at odds with each other, with the biggest sticking point being the county's two paramedic requirement for each ambulance. With a shortage of paramedics, there are not as many ambulances, meaning 911 response times are often coming up far short, putting our communities at risk. But there's a new wrinkle in this saga. It's our big story tonight. AMR's vice president previously told me the situation in Multnomah County is a crisis becoming a catastrophe and the system could collapse within months. But now AMR has given Multnomah County Chair Jessica Vega Peterson a formal proposal for how the company wants to fix the ambulance response problem. And you can bet it hinges on switching to a one paramedic, one EMT model, which is used in surrounding counties and AMR says is the national and state standard. For more than a year, county EMS leaders have balked at the idea, saying two paramedics provide better patient care. That's EMS Medical Director Dr. John Ju right there. And hey, for what it's worth, AMR, you signed the contract You're saying you'd staff each ambulance with two paramedics. Can't you just do that? But AMR is currently short 60 paramedics. There's the rub. There's the problem. Each month, they lose two more. Without enough paramedics to staff all the shifts, ambulances sit empty in an AMR garage in southeast Portland. There's supposed to be 50 ambulances on the street each day. Right now, AMR maxes out around 33. The company is offering hiring incentives and full ride scholarships, anything to attract new paramedics, but they say it hasn't helped much. It's been significantly easier for AMR to hire EMTs who require less training. So this week, after months of making their position very well known, as we've covered here, AMR sent its formal proposal to the county. The company says by temporarily switching to a one and one model, it could add four to six ambulances right away. It would move some paramedics into lead training and bring on more EMTs to respond to emergency calls. By the end of the second month, AMR says it would have 10 more ambulances staffed and on the road. And by month three, the company promises shorter response times, what everyone's hoping for. It also says it would be fully staffed with 50 ambulance shifts per day within three months of the change. Here's what AMR Vice President Randy Lauer told me earlier about the proposal. We just urge them to make this change, make it immediately, let us start adding more ambulances, improve the response time, get to people faster, reduce the fatigue and the burnout in our paramedics, and get back to a sustainable system. The system today is not sustainable. Of course, that's what AMR is asking for. So what's the county's response? A county spokesperson told me Chair Vega Peterson is declining to comment until she has briefed her colleagues on the Board of Commissioners' next steps. Vega Peterson previously said the next steps could include a six to nine month review of EMS staffing before making any changes. Commissioner Sharon Myron said that's outrageous. The county could and should make this change right now. So if you're keeping score at home, let's show who's currently on which side in this Multnomah County ambulance showdown. In favor of keeping two paramedics on each ambulance that responds to a life threatening call, we have Multnomah County Chair Jessica Vega Peterson, Multnomah County EMS, including Director Dr. John Ju, leads the charge here in a lot of ways, and Teamsters Local 223, the union representing paramedics in Multnomah County. Union leaders said in December that the two paramedic system upholds the highest standards of care and professionalism. And in our other corner, in favor of switching to a one paramedic, one EMT model, we have AMR, Portland Fire, Gresham Fire, and Corbett Fire, East County Mayors in Troutdale, Wood Village, Fairview, Gresham, Portland Emergency Management, plus Commissioner Sharon Myron and some state representatives. There's also Portland Commissioner Renee Gonzalez, who's proposing a resolution to Portland City Council to recommend a change to a one-on-one -on -one system. That's coming up next week. The combination of insufficient paramedics is just putting too much stress on the, on the whole ecosystem of public safety. So we've been analyzing this at Portland Fire for a year. We've uh, engaged with both the county and the ambulance providers for a year on this topic. We've been patient. We've been doing the work, uh, analyzing the problem, uh, but we're just at a breaking point now. So with a potential city council vote next week from Portland, maybe even more pressure on the county to make some kind of change. We'll watch to see what Vega Peterson says in the coming weeks. In the meantime, where do you stand on this? Do you think Multnomah County should change requirements to hopefully improve response times now? 
Or do you believe two paramedics are necessary for the highest quality of emergency care? Email the story at KGW.com or call and leave a voicemail 503-226-5090.